So the dice sport trial helps to try to balance out the muscles that are pulling on the spine and potentially worsening the scoliosis. I am interested in trying to find ways to make bracing work more often. We have an, an FDA IRB approved trial going on and it's really exciting stuff. We use dice sport, which is a form of Botox that relaxes muscles. And in your spine, there are muscles running on both sides. On the concave side of the curve, these muscles are pulling in a way that makes the curve possibly worse. And we feel that by relaxing those muscles, it helps to provide a continuous rebalancing of the muscles so that as you go about your daily life with or without the brace, but hopefully with mostly, you will have a more even pull of the muscles and the spine will untwist just a little bit and grow just a little bit straighter uh, through these years that you're wearing the brace and therefore end up more straight at maturity. For every three kids that are enrolled in the study, we have two of them that are getting the medicine and that medicine is Dysport, which is a form of botulinum toxin. And then one of those three children is receiving the placebo. The trial involves two injections of, both, of Dysport and, eat, and they're given four months apart. And then we follow the person until maturity to see what the final results are. The risks of Botox or dice board are very rare. I've never actually seen that or heard of it. There are some people that get kind of muscle aches, but overall I have not experienced any significant risks or heard of any problems from the dice board. We use the smallest gauge needle possible. So it's very fine and very thin, and it's a small amount of fluid, liquid medicine, that we have to deliver directly to the muscles. We use the smallest possible needle. We use a 27 gauge needle, which is much smaller than the needle you use for uh, getting blood drawn. And we numb the skin with a cold spray so that you can't feel the needle going in much. Nevertheless, it is a shot, so it stings a little bit, but it's over quickly in just a few seconds and the medicine itself doesn't sting, so it doesn't hurt too much, I believe. As part of the study, you don't have to pay for the dice board. Uh, if you were to get it outside the study, then of course there would be a charge, but in the study, there's no, no charge for it. Once we examine your situation, your x-rays and you, if we find that you meet the criteria where you'll be helped by it, we will offer you the chance to do it and you could either do it there at the time of your first visit or come back for another time after you've given it some thought.